I dedicate this video and in loving memory to my papa, Pa Napua Tam Singh, born in Hilo, Hawaii, December 28, 1935, going home to heaven, May 11, 2018. You'll forever be in my heart. I love you. Such a rainy old town, I listen to the rain come down. Don't it fall so free? Take a walk in the rain and let the rain wash away your pain. You can start all over with me.
It's my grandpa. He's cool. He's so, cool. what are you gonna make? Not me, grandma cooking squash soup. Squash soup. I just have clean now. And smoke meat. So, grandpa's the sous chef. I just clean. I'm just a helper. And. Grandma is a chef. Grandma, what is this? This is. Spare ribs pop. So far, sous chef, Cam Singh. <laughs> it's a lot of work, grandpa. It's a lot of cleaning to do. We need a much of man Oh, you heard that? Look, see the signs of the arm there. Look at that boy. My grandpa's cool. <laughs> My grandpa's cool. Hello, everybody. Anyway, what I have here is wild bamboo. Branching them right now. Anyway, here's my crew. It's the Paul Cam Singh. Say hi, say aloha. aloha. <laughs> there you have it, baby. There you have the crew, baby. What's up? I took my long right in water before I started anything, so I can't talk about it by the time I cook. And what are you making tonight? Uh, chicken long rice soup. Which is my favorite. My, that's my, gra my dad's a favorite child. That's a big pot with one five pound chicken. All right, here. We have to rinse it that side. Rinse in water. So you basically just want to cut it up in little pieces. And rinse them and then cook them in a pot. I couldn't wait for you. I roll the chicken with ginger and garlic dry with oil, a little bit oil. And then I add water after, cover the chicken and boil them till, till it's soft. So this is just halfway through? Yeah, yeah. Almost ready. Once the chicken soft, I can add the chicken on right so Here's the finished product and I am really excited to eat. I am hungry and chicken long rice is my favorite meal when I am home. My grandpa makes the best. It's been a good time together. Looking for the warmth of the sun. Gonna be a long time together. And the best is yet to come. I remember the beginning, we were younger then. We used to play in the scene, we both pretend. But that was then and now, I 
your moment come again So do we throw it all away? Is this the end? It's been a good Hiding broken hearts, living the masquerade. And if it's magic that we're weaving, let's not be afraid to sing our song of love that we've already made. Cause it's been a good time together, looking for the one. Inside of black. Yeah, yeah. The one outside, you know, I can't be safe. You know, you think that. The fish, huh? The, the, the inside part. You know. You're going to pick up the fish, right? And the gutter. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, don't you yeah. think inside? I don't have to pick the fish. Huh? The main house, they can all come off. Yeah, but you put me on, you print them out down. Yeah, I'm thinking. Treats, treats. Always waiting for treats. Say hi, Dad. Hi. Nice to see Auntie and Dad together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank yeah. you.
Hi, Papa. So I'm here in my home in Santa Monica, and I wanted to go ahead and share with you a little glimpse of my patio. I know I always did share with you over our daily phone calls of how much I enjoy planting and collecting plants, and I know you always used to joke with me that I had a big plant nursery in my home, and I think you're right. I want to go ahead and give you a big shout out and lots of love for being the father figure in my life. Without you and grandma raising me, I wouldn't be the woman who I am today. And I can never thank you enough for being a big part of my life. I remember when I was a little girl growing up in Hilo, one of my favorite moments would definitely have to be in elementary school. And I remember you picking me up and taking me to Candy's Drive-In right across the street, getting my Terry Burger special, no mail, extra fries, and a bento. And we would go home, I would watch my favorite shows on TV, and then you would take me to dance school. And you would never be late on taking me anywhere or picking me up. I would never have to wait on you. You would never complain. And you would sit there in the parking lot with your newspaper while I was in dance school and never complain once. And I think that really shows the character in your heart. You've been there from day one with my dance career and look at me now, I'm dancing in Las Vegas. I've been dancing for over 30 years now and a dance is definitely a big part of my life. So thank you for being there and helping me with my dance career. My favorite memories would definitely have to be when I was in intermediate school, when we lived on Haoli Street at the end. And I remember the bus used to drop me off at the stop sign. But because I felt like that street was way too long for me to walk and with the neighbor's big Rottweiler dogs barking at me, you would come and pick me up in the green Continental Lincoln at the stop sign with perfect timing to just literally turn around and drive down our small street. I think now as an adult, the street is probably not that long, but as a child, I thought it was like the longest street and I didn't want to walk home in my backpack and you were there every time the bus arrived ready to pick me up to drive me home and I thought that was so cute now looking back at it as an adult. Now when I go home as an adult, since I left Hawaii nine years ago, one of my favorite memories would definitely have to be you and grandma picking me up at the airport and taking me to Kawamono's and we never skipped a beat. And I know you and grandma are diehards with making sure you guys would never have to make me wait at the airport. You guys would be at the airport like half an hour before and never complain. And I still have vivid memories of you driving me through Hilo Town and talking about the new street that popped up which is like the shortcut to get home and I, I remember you being so excited about that um, but you'll definitely be a Hilo boy for life and you are such an amazing warm-hearted beautiful spirit all around happy-go-lucky guy and I'm so blessed to have you as my dad and my grandpa I love you so much until we meet again Aloha This is what happens when you leave a senior in the car waiting for you, they fall asleep. Bye, Dad! When the sun is rising up in the morning, girl, it's the starting of a new day. I love to see the morning sunshine, but down on your lovely face. I love to look at your smiling face, child It's gonna be a wonderful day You know, I wake up and say Good morning How you feeling? Yeah.